Okay, my name is JJ Pianchi, and I'm the Applied Health Sciences Librarian at the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. My favorite book is 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Um, I was introduced to Marquez in my undergrad years, and I fell in love with him. It might have been said that peace and happiness reigned for a long time in the tired mansion of the Buendias if it had not been for the sudden death of Amaranta, which caused a new uproar. It was an unexpected event. Although she was old and isolated from everyone, she still looked firm and upright and with the health of a rock that she had always had. No one knew her thoughts since the, the afternoon on which she had given Colonel Garonaldo Marquez his final rejection and shut herself up to weep. She was not seen to cry during the ascension to heaven of Remedios, the beauty, or even the extermination of the Orellanos or the death of Colonel Orellano Buendia, who was the person she loved most in the world although she showed it only when they found his body under the chestnut tree. She helped pick up the body, she dressed him in his soldier's uniform, shaved him, combed his hair, and waxed his mustache better than he had ever done in his days of glory. No one thought that there was any love in that act because they were accustomed to the familiarity of Amaranta with the rites of death, as if it were not a religion, but a compendium of funeral conventions. Amaranta was too wrapped up in the eggplant patch of her memories to understand those subtle apologetics. She had reached old age with all her nostalgias intact.